Okay, if you're just tuning in, this is a democracy and the rule of law. Now, the Federal High Court in Abuja says President Bombard Bari is uh, has not acted in breach of the law by the three-month tenure extension of then Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu. Uh, Galaxy's Godfrey Shimogo reports that this is the judgment delivered Friday in the suit by Abuja-based lawyer Maxwell <coughs> Opara challenging the legality of the three-month tenure extension of the Inspector General of Police by the President. Uh, in the judgment, Justice Ahmed uh, Mohammed says the President has the right to extend the tenure of an outgoing IGP pending the appointment of a substantive one, insisting it is not in breach of Section 215 and 216 of the Nigerian Constitution and Section 7 of the Nigeria Police Act 2020. The court described such an appointment as stopgap measure to avoid leaving a vacuum. Maintaining the action is legal. Um, okay, now let, let's take a look at that. When, when this extension, you know, just started, you know, uh, um, there was a lot of legal battles, you know, uh, legal argument, uh, yes. rather, you know, about it. But uh, most legal practitioners have come out to say. Uh, uh, it is unconstitutional and uh, uh, President Buhari is wrong to have extended his tenure. Uh, the man has uh, 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 gone past his years of service, you know, uh, both age-wise and in terms of uh, 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 the duration of service. So, um, why do you think the Federal High Court thinks otherwise? Mm -hmm. You see, um, Nigeria, we have hierarchy of courts. The, in this very matter, the Federal High Court is merely a court of first instance. Mm. You see that the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court also. So the Federal High Court is not a final court in this matter. Mm. But in my opinion, I align with the majority of uh, the council who have said that the president acted or traversed the constitution mm. by extending the tenure of the former IGP. It is clear enough, mm. Section 215, Section 215 and 216 of the Constitution of Nigeria actually mentions how and how the um, IGP is to be appointed. You understand? And also removed. You understand? Because mm. he's appointed by Section 215, subject to Section 216, sub 2 of the Constitution. You understand? Mm -hmm. We need to require that uh, the National Police Council must be consulted by the President. Because we have not seen the full judgment. But from what I've read so far about judgment, the judge kept harping on consultation. Mm -hmm. Say the President can do it, having consulted with the Nigerian Police Council. But where and how? When? Did Mr. President consult with the police council before extending the tenure of the former IGP? Besides that, we have the Police Act 2020, 2020 that was signed by President Buhari himself. Section 76 of that act tells you how you appoint the IGP. Section 88 tells you about the duration of the time the IGP or any other policeman, for that matter, mm. can use in service is 35 years. Or when that person attains 65 years of age in the police. Mm. You understand? So, and I lawyers have said that police act is so generous. It's a special act made for that purpose, just like the um, electoral act mm. made for the elections. So, I, I don't agree with the judge, but Mr. Opara, the lawyer in this case, Maxwell Opara, mm -hmm. he has said he's going on appeal, and I'm totally with it. I also know that the NBA filed a suit in regards to the said extension. Mm -hmm. You see, because Mr. President did not follow the law. Mm -hmm. This argument that uh, it was a stopgap measure is uncalled for. Mr. The former IGP, it was, it was certain, you understand, mm. that he was going to retire. He joined the Nigeria Police in 1986. You understand? Mm. And he, he will have said 35 years in the office by February of um, 2021. It's obvious. 
the president has advisors. You understand? Yeah. They should have flagged you. This man is going to retire. This idea that you are you have been watching, you are waiting for you to see a competent person is a lame excuse. Very lame excuse. This kind of thing won't happen in Ghana. It won't happen in the US or elsewhere. We don't even need to mention US and etc. Let's mention Africa. Let's mention the last part. Will it happen in Botswana? So can you, can you explain the, the stopgap measure here? Is it, is, is it about the vacuum? That's what the judge said. Hmm. And that's what I'm actually challenging. That the man, the judge was only looking for an excuse to justify the, what the president did. That the president extended this man's tenure so that uh, he could have time to appoint another competent mm. IGP. You understand? You see, the hierarchy of police is there. The president ought to be aware of when this man is going to retire. When would you do it? Which means he had ample time for him. He had ample time. Search for success. Search for while, success. While this, the other tenure is running out. Exactly. We see how things are done in the US now. Even the media will have been mentioning it. That look, this person, his time will expire mm. as the IGP. The media By was, instruction of time, the they'll be was, mentioning it all the media was yes, mentioning it. Back and, and forth. I miss the, you know, the controversy yes. of uh, uh, changing the service chief because of exactly. the security situation. Exactly, I recall. Media. The media, they were actually mentioning it. So that excuse is too lame for us. And the judge buying to it also is questionable. But, but then, you know, people will say, uh, uh, this is a federal high court, which means they are very versed with the workings of the Constitution and the rule of law, unlike mere mortals like us, if mm -hmm. I will use that word. So why do you think he will make such mistake? No, or, you see, the judge is a human being. Mm -hmm. He could have made that mistake, you understand? Mm -hmm in good faith and that's why we have the court of appeal you understand and we also have the supreme court also or maybe you understand so it, it's not final you see i, I saw or maybe it. the legal counsel for the defense made a better case perhaps because i didn't see the brief of the counsel who went to court hmm. to ask that um, the extension was illegal i didn't see his brief you understand hmm. we, are only, uh, we have not even seen the full judgment of the court hmm. either hmm. You see, because I noticed we're just, we're just uh, yes, working based on, based the, on final, the small things that we have yeah. read. Because I saw a case decided by the Supreme Court, whereby it was said that um, somebody who is in authority, who is exercising authority, mm. you understand, mm. you know, governmental authority, that if he exceeds that power granted to him, it's a Supreme Court judgment, that that person may be excused if he did it in good faith. You understand? Yeah. I saw it. I didn't, but I just saw it somewhere in, in one of the law reports. But in this case, we are talking about setting precedents. You understand? Which is not appropriate in a very sensitive position like the office of the IGP. You understand? It's a very sensitive position. That, and this issue that, and having such, what did Buhari produce again? Another Londoner. You understand? So that's why people just laugh and say that what is this thing this man is saying? That is, 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 you know, he needed more time. And, I, and what did he produce? Eh? Another person that came and was saying that the police in the East should forget about the rule of law. Is that the best thing that the president so, can give so, us? So do you think this is why Nigerians, most Nigerians, as mm -hmm. it were, are calling the National Assembly rubber stamp? Because uh, this is where the National Assembly too should have come in in terms of because they formulated this law i mean uh, yeah exactly yeah, yes you yes know, so you can say that because it's still whether they were not there or not almost. those laws belong to them and some of yes. them were there because some of them came in I mean, came yes, back yes, into yes. office okay. you understand so um uh, this is where they should have waited in to say okay uh, the, the president called the attention of the attorney general uh this is wrong you know, according to these and according to that, according to the uh, 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 new police act, this is wrong. So it's like they are leaving the fight for individual Nigerians now. Uh, well, the reason is obvious enough. They don't want to rock the boat because they are members of the same party. But there was this man, who, after the president in that interview with Arise TV, 
when the president said that he would direct the um, attorney general to go and look for um, the gazette on grazing routes, somebody spoke from the Senate, and I was impressed. He said those gazettes don't exist. He said so. Maybe a majority leader or someone like that from the Senate said so, and I was impressed. He said those gazettes don't exist. I think later they found out maybe they were just regional gazettes in the north, northern part of Nigeria. But I give credit to that man. You know? I respect that, that senator who came out and immediately responded as, 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 that Mr. President was wrong. Mm. That there was no gazette like that in the National Assembly. You know? Whether, I, you know, because it was supposed to be part of the first National Assembly. Mm. But the man said, said, he said no. Now, so one may be tempted to question the uh, 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 the job of the attorney general here because um, these executives have been accused largely of being uh, 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 having a disregard for the rule of law and somehow some have of been of the defense that the the president may not may you know be uh, be a uh, 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 um, the blame isn't just on the president alone. Uh, what about his legal counsel, led by the attorney general? What is their function? What are they doing? Yeah. Are they leading the president astray? You know, and these are some of the questions. Well, the problem with the office of the president attorney general mm. is that um, the man is not really interested in the rule of law. He studies the president's body language and act according to accordingly, what? according to the president's emotions, mm. according to the president's whims and caprices. That's how Mr. Salami, Mr. Malami has been acting thus far. He's not interested in the law. He's not interested in the law. You see, Mr. Malami, immediately Mr. Malami said that uh, people using Twitter, after the president's ban on Twitter, that was just made through a broadcast, you understand? Mm. That he will prosecute them. That shows that this man is not interested in the law. He just wanted to please the president. And that's why Nigerians have been saying that. You see, we separate the office of the Attorney General mm. from the office of the Solicitor General of Nigeria. Mm. In the US, I recall that in a particular state, the Attorney General of that state is to the governor on the issue of tobacco. Mm. You understand? So the, can the Attorney General of Nigeria sue the president? Or can the Attorney General of the state sue the governor? It's, it's not possible here. The Attorney General is supposed to represent the interests of the, of the nation. Mm. 